Now we've noticed across the different media platforms, quite a lot of people ask us, is this your real job? Is this what you do for a living? And I must say that I'm blessed to be able to say that yes, this is my job and it has been for over 20 years now. Uh, I'm a professional hunter. If I'm not down here organising a hunt for somebody on uh, one of the deer species, I'm up north chasing wild pigs or scrub bulls, uh, sometimes doing a spot of fishing, or I'm working for different landowners trapping wild dogs. That's what I do 24-7. Our base camp is this terrific uh, spot that we call Glenfiddich, the Glenfiddich Hunting Lodge. And anybody that's been here will tell you that it is something special. Now, it's looking a bit rough at the moment. It's the end of our 2022 season. We've had probably over 100 people, at least probably closer to 150 people through here over the last month. Uh, so we've got to just knuckle down now and clean everything up and tidy. And, um, yeah, maybe have a couple of days where we'll have a uh, break. What I'll try and do is sit down and edit some of the footage I've taken over the, uh, the past month or so and get it up on our site. But this is how we live. Um, sometimes people will say, how can you hold this opinion on the environment or hunting or, or sustainable use? And that comes back to the fact that we do know where our power comes from. We've got a little bit of solar, we've got a generator, we have to be very frugal. We've got uh, a couple of water tanks here. We catch all our own water off the roof. It's all rainwater. We've got to be very, very careful with that as well. For us to go anywhere, our nearest town is uh, probably 40 minutes drive away in any direction. So for us to get out there, we've got to use a four-wheel drive vehicle, sometimes in four-wheel drive when it rains, uh, to get somewhere. It's costly to even drive down to get a loaf of bread or a bottle of milk. So everything we do, our storage, our, our refrigeration, everything right through has had to be worked out to be able to live this lifestyle. But it certainly has its benefits. It does give us a great sense of uh, a connection with reality. And anybody that comes up here and stays with us for, for a little while gets that same reality that uh, Freedom isn't free. You've got to take responsibility for your own actions. You've got to be uh, mindful and thoughtful of other people and consider their desires, what they want to see out of their life. This is the sort of place that people can come to and it puts them back in touch with reality, which is a great thing. It's great country up here. And as I said, we work for a number of different landowners here. It's all cattle country and forestry. Um, wild deer are seen from one end of the spectrum to the other. Here they're all, because they are an introduced species, um, some people see them as a pest, other, see them, other people see them as a great asset. We see them as a resource in the middle that needs to be used and not abused. Uh, they can fit into the environment as much as our cattle, as much as horses and people, roads, buildings, uh, all the things that make up this, this great land of ours here. Uh, there's so many introduced species of, of pasture grass around here. It's unbelievable. There's so many species of um, weeds that are now here. They're set in here. That there'll be a miracle if we can get rid of them. Everything's got to be managed. And uh, what I see at the moment, there's a big threat because government is very much pushing to take the management responsibilities off landowners and to be able to dictate really solidly back to landowners, which is unfortunate. I'd much rather educate, encourage, inspire, uh, bring people up with you, uh, show them a better way, lead we don't have leaders in this country anymore. We have dictators. And it's unfortunate because even though some people say that, you know, there's a lot of people that are dumb and they, they have to be coerced, they have to be forced, I'd rather say let's inspire people. Let's, let's encourage. Let's get them working together as a team.